Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. I am Vaseem Anwar from Lahore, Pakistan. We are yet again back with an exciting and informative series of interviews, starting with one of the most dynamic men in on passive. You all must have seen him on webinars and events, a man who possesses ample knowledge and carry a vision of bringing change in the lives of people. He is from United Kingdom. Kingdom. We are lucky enough to get his learning and experiences. He is none other than Mr. Andy Burks. Uh, hello, sir. We cordially welcome you are here. Hello. Thank you. Um, I've not been called dynamic, but uh, before, but um, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> but, but sir, is uh, you are dynamic for us. Uh, you are great. You are superb. You are doing good job. Thank you. Thank you, uh, sir. Uh, uh, my first question is: <clears throat> uh, First of all, uh, we want to know uh, about yourself. Would you like to introduce yourself? Where have you been working throughout these years? What is your expertise? Sure. Um, I've been in financial services since um, 1986. Uh, um, uh, originally from in the UK, and then I, I moved abroad, moved to South Africa, back to the UK, and then uh, I've done Dubai, Mexico, Holland, France, Germany, back to Dubai, Spain, Portugal, Bahrain, Saudi, a little bit in Oman, and then back to uh, back to Spain again. But now, thankfully, back in the UK. And, and, and I'm not living out of a suitcase anymore, which is fabulous. <laughs> so um, uh, being a financial advisor, I, I, I like numbers. Uh, and I'm sure you've probably heard my, uh, my speeches uh, on several webinars regarding numbers. You're doing good. You're doing good. It's a good job. Good job. Yes, sir, uh, sir uh, we would like to know about your journey with on passive including when and how did you join how it has changed your personal and professional life uh, it's a good question i um uh some while ago i was looking to try and boost the number of leads that we were getting for our business for financial services i i deal with a lot of of um uh, pension transfers where where people have moved away from the uk uh, moved abroad permanently uh, and we help them to to move their pensions into environments that uh, where they can actually deal with them so i was looking to try and acquire some more leads uh, for that business and originally what i wanted to try and do was to set up my own capture page uh, website um, you know link that to to facebook advertising but unfortunately i'm not particularly technically minded uh, in fact, I haven't got a clue. Um, so trying to put these things together, it, I just got confused. I bought a book. Uh, I got even more confused. Um, so then I approached somebody that did this sort of thing and they said, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll put it together. And, and it was horrendous cost. And I just thought, no, this is I'm not paying that. Uh, and they were going to keep all the data as well. So that kind of didn't make sense to me either. Uh, but I came across one of uh, Marty de Gamo's adverts um, and it said fully automated, um, you know, helps you build a website, helps you do this, helps you do that, puts the capture pages together. Perfect. So I signed up there and then um, and then left it for four months. Didn't really um, take much interest at that point. But four months later, I thought hmm, perhaps I should find out what's going on. Um, so I started watching some of uh, Mike Ellis's videos and Marty's videos. I started joining his lives and then the light bulb came on and I went, oh, damn, I should have been you know, really encouraged to, to get this from day one. And then I understood um, that I no longer need my financial services business um, and I don't need more leads for that. What I need is I need to be part of on passive and let the business build itself um but obviously help it along the way and i thought to myself well with financial services it takes so long to get paid you have to have completed the pension you have to have transferred all of the cash and and then once that then any fees then come out as and, and pay to us the problem is that that system can take three months six months nine months 
Um, so you have to have a, a, a constant book. Um, uh, and looking at this, I thought, well, this is, I, I can make money while I sleep. This is ridiculous. Why am I concentrating on financial services when I can be doing this? So I really kind of got involved at that point and, and um, I really started taking an interest. Um, we were talking to Red and to uh, uh, Peter Rogers about putting um, uh, a team in the UK together. I thought, oh, I, I, I really want to get into this. So, um, and it kind of, spread from there and my excitement has grown ever since um and it's still growing so um yeah very very happy to have found it i've, I've been looking for something like this for 40 odd years so um yeah very pleased great great uh, actually uh, every founder has uh, own story of uh, on passive journey because people uh, are from different fields and uh, that's amazing great great sir uh, okay sir uh, how do you see on passive now? How is it going to impact the lives of founders, customers, and business all around the world after launch? Uh, the, the, yeah, this is phenomenal. I don't think a lot of people really understand what difference this is going to make. I think the, the, the closest comparison you can give uh, was Microsoft years and years ago when they combined. Um, um, Microsoft Word with Excel and PowerPoint un under one umbrella, if you like. And, and literally, you've only got a few products. Now we've got access to this entire ecosystem with a single sign on. Uh, it's going to make a massive difference to everybody. You know, you have a you have a, a potential customer customer base today of five billion. There are 196 million people joined the internet last year, 500 odd thousand people a day, and they reckon by 2030 there'll be seven billion people on the planet using the internet. Um, and all of these people are potential customers for what we have right now, and I and I mean that from the point of view of this is just the digital products. Once on passive starts with the, the other um, uh, opportunities, then the marketplace increases still further. Um, so yeah, it's a phenomenal opportunity. And, and um, uh, I, I don't really understand exactly how all of the products work, but we're on Zoom today, for instance, and, and I know how these things could impact my industry if i look at some of the companies that i've worked for over the years and how this could really change their their whole um process their their uh, income system um their hr management their peer-to-peer -peer, um uh, conversations meetings uh, you know one particular company for instance has um operations in 70 odd countries around the globe um, and three or four thousand staff or uh, consultants, um, managers, regional managers, etc., um, and they have well over twenty thousand what they call orphan clients. So clients that have been taken on where the, the consultants then left. Well, just think about using O Connect. You know, if you were to to, we hope. As a financial advisor, we hope to be able to talk to eight to 10 people a week, new people a week. And, and it doesn't normally work out like that. But let's say you, you do manage to talk to 10 people. We know two people will probably say yes. And two people will definitely say no to what we have to offer. It's the other six that we've got to try and convert. Now, the, the difference is here is if you invite somebody to a, to a, um, uh, an O Connect call as a first call to introduce yourself, the company, and and what we do, etc. That he becomes a client of On Passive. So I've now got ten customers each and every week just by using O Connect. It doesn't matter whether I sell um, uh, or offer products for for um, uh, the clients with financial services. I have. 10 new clients from on passive and the possibility that they then see the vision as well and go, Oh, I've got other people that would, would like to use this. So it is a phenomenal, phenomenal opportunity. Excellent, sir. You explained very well, sir. Can you explain more? Um, how would you get started once uh, on passive launch? Who would you go to? And that's a, that, that's a, 
a, a brilliant question and and um it, it does make me laugh when people ask me this because um I, I don't know about you but i'm not very good at recruiting so so the first thing i did was i used my linkedin connections so i sent messages to every single one of those linkedin connections and i've got over five thousand um i sent emails out to all of my friends my family um um uh, uh, every single one of my contacts on on whatsapp on um uh, my emails etc so and and obviously the vast majority of those in in fact 99 percent said no so my first port of call um uh, where i'm going to go first is back to all these people that said no now i've got five thousand odd potential customers well nearly six i suppose potential customers now when on per on passive launches and by the way, here's a free thing. Why not have a look at this? Now, if they still don't take it, <laughs> they've got to be mad. But um, that's my first port of call. That's the, the easiest and simplest way to get started with all the people that said no. Um, what I like to try and do is to think uh, about individuals. So um, when I did a presentation at the UK and, and Ireland event, um, I covered things like retirement planning and, and education fees funding. So in the UK, if you're trying to send your son or daughter through further education, there's a cost involved. And over the four years, that can be anything from 80 to 100,000 pounds to, to make sure that your son or daughter could get through university. Now, that's a lot for someone to find when my first mortgage to buy a house was smaller than that and that's a 25 year loan so when when a, a student starts work with this massive debt that's ridiculous so why not think about your surrounding area every single person that uses the internet is a potential customer so the first thing you do is write a list of every person that you know but then i split that list into different sections so one is a section that says um, uh, people with, with kids at school, uh, people with kids in further education, uh, retirees, etc. So that you've got this list of people and then you're looking for um, uh, what I would class as features and benefits. So in other words, if I'm aiming specifically at someone uh, with, with children still at school, you go, how are you looking to, to um, get these guys through university, through further education? How about looking at something like this, where it won't cost you anything to set up if you don't want it to, but it could actually build you an income that could cover the cost and make sure that your son or daughter goes through university without starting work with the debt. So all of these little ideas, you know, you can use. And, and, and as I said, if you concentrate on the the type of people that you're talking to and twist what we have on offer to suit that particular person then you've got a list of not only you know a thousand of people that you could contact but a way in which you could offer them something that is going to mean something to them rather than just here we go this is it excellent sir. does that very make sense sir very informative answers from your side who oh, got many knowledge many, many knowledge Sir, uh, my next question is, uh, what planning do you need to before on passive launch? Well, as I said, from my point of view, I, I'm, a, I'm a Capricorn, so we're, we're planners. <laughs> so the first thing I did was start writing a list of all of these names uh, of people that I know, um, you know, members of clubs, um, next door neighbours, um, friends, family contacts etc and then i split them into into various groups depending on what they do um and what they might be interested in etc and then so i have a list of people that i can contact or email or send messages to etc so that's where i would get get started now um i i'm in a uh, i'm a great believer in thoughts become things so the concentration for me has been um what do i need to do to move my position further forward um with regard to the number of customer or potential customers coming in so so i am personally going to take full advantage of the uh, advertising packs if if i'm able to uh, it's all down to finance but bottom line is 
it's a plow back situation. So any money that I, I make initially, I plow that back in, plow it back in. Um, uh, so in other words, it continues to grow um, without me doing very much other than plowing the, the profit or the, uh, the any income or apples that come in from um, uh, the, the positions that I hold. Great, sir. Uh, we are learning a lot uh, from this interview. Uh, sir, uh, I want to ask a personal question. Uh, are you married? No, I'm, I'm divorced and very happy. Oh, <laughs> great, <laughs> great. So, uh, uh, so that's why uh, you, you are very easy to give the time of, to own passive because uh, well my my job my job really doesn't start until four in the afternoon because i deal with with um clients in the states and i'm in the uk so they're five hours ahead sure. so uh, my my day is my own and um i spend most of it on on passive <laughs> that's good that's good uh sir next question is very important as we all know our ceo mr ash mufare genius the mastermind of this project what is your op opinion about Mr. Ash Mufare? Everyone has own uh, opinion, but how could you explain this? I've, I've, in my working career, I've dealt with um, presidents, vice presidents, CEOs, managing directors, directors. Um, I've never met a man that spends as much time with us as, as founders than, than Ash. Um, uh, and I love what he has to say at the end of the day, he, you, you know, he means what he says. Um, uh, and that's probably one thing that really struck me when I first got, got interested and um, understood what was going on. Uh, the passion that, that he's got comes through, you know, he wants to help humanity uh, and, and you just get this, this um, overwhelming feeling um, that that is the case. And I think he's, helped me change my mindset along with thousands of, of other founders you know we, we, we all came into this business for the money we're all here to make money at the end of the day and we all want to make sure that our our, our lives become comfortable um so that we have sufficient cash coming in and a retirement income of some sort or another um and that was originally the key for me to get in and, and <clears throat> understanding the business and thought okay well i can build this this is this is brilliant this is fantastic and it gives me an opportunity to 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 build a residual income <clears throat> unfortunately with the vast majority of companies that i've worked for over the years um they've all let me down so i, I could have potentially taken retirement at 45 not uh not now but um for me the mindset has changed so it's now not about what i can do for me it's about what we now can do for others and i think this is the biggest impact that ash has had on the vast majority of us it's not what we want it's what we can do you know we, we a lot of us in the uk have various ideas on on what we would like to do with the excess because as ash has said fill your, fill your tank and once you've done that how can you help others so we all have an idea of what we want to be able to do and that's the exciting bit now it's not okay well i'm going to make this amount of apples we're not we're not thinking that way and that's really the 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 influence that this man has had on the vast majority of us he wanted to create uh, a million mother teresas and that i believe he's done um and will certainly do as as time goes on so um for me phenomenal i'll follow this man anywhere yes, of course of course uh, uh mr ash mafara uh, if, if in my opinion mr ash mafara i uh, first time i i i i saw a ceo who talk about humanity mutual benefit you know so uh, when when on passive started in 97 dollar uh, on passive was given uh, giving giving us a, a digital marketing tool gradually uh, things upgraded but uh, mr ash mufara didn't increase the 97 dollar 
and uh, and recently he announced the packages uh, of uh, future packages of uh, company and uh, uh, you can understand the uh, he 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 is thinking too much about uh, average people how he can pay the uh, package so uh, no i think i never seen any ceo who think about others uh, other uh, our founders no never so that's that's thing great everything has been money based if yes, you talk yes. to any any ceo and any managing director or president etc they're all interested in yes how much money i can make for the company yes uh, and this man's the total opposite yes um sir sir he, he has given the uh, free idea of yaman uh, pending founders uh, deserving founders so who who give the uh, free ideas so no i think no ceo give the free ideas so no. Uh, no. yes yes sir uh, next question is uh, uh, do you uh, do you want to say about uh, on passive products and what is your favorite product and why you like it um that's a good one there are a couple that stand out for me as i said i'm not technically minded but i do understand the power of of um o connect academy the the <laughs> online learning facility um and o connect um you know the the fact that we're using zoom um zoom has had security issues since it started and it's been patching ever since um we've designed something or on passive has designed something with the with the masterminds behind this in hyderabad um that that is encrypted so there's no it's the security is there for a start secondly uh, you know it it uh, will automatically translate into a number of different languages so you can talk to anyone around the globe um in, in total security um and be able to communicate now uh, as i said if i relate that to my industry the power of, of that opportunity alone is is phenomenal the you know they could take on thousands and thousands and thousands of of customers just simply by using this product um and every consultant would have a regular income coming in um and that for the the vast majority of consultants struggle to wait for for money um and if you're living in places like dubai it's not cheap we had to pay and this this is back in 2003 i'd have to pay 15000 pounds up front for a three bedroom apartment um and at the end of the first year that jumped to 24000 pounds um so uh, everybody could do with the extra cash but uh, o connect is is um is my favorite with um uh academy linked to the the two together but i like the the onet um in particular nobody likes well personally i can't stand the alternative that we all know about they sell the data um every single photograph that you put on there is now owned by them not you um so i don't put family photos on there or haven't done since i found that out um i'm i do detest the way that people can have fake accounts um so you don't know who you're talking to uh, yes i have two accounts i have one for for friends if you like and one for on passive because my friends are very fickle they most people are in the uk and very cynical so oh not this on passive thing again uh, well they'll be laughing on the other side of their face soon but anyway um bottom line is you can't have a fake account and i don't know about you but i've been hooked into uh, buying something from on facebook and it never turning up so I don't like that either. Now, if you use Onet in particular, um, you're going to have to prove who you are because we all have to do the know your customer um, details. So, who you are, proof of where you live, etc. So, the likelihood of people trying to um, troll children, no, that's not going to happen. Have a fake account, no, that's not going to happen. And try and sell something that doesn't exist, that's not going to happen because we know where you are, we know who you are. So this is a total correction to the corruption and that I love. Um so those really are, are my two 
favorites if you like those are the the two things that i think are going to make a hell of a difference you know imagine for a minute if you offer uh, an alternative to what we've got at the moment with the social media system and and you just simply spread that to all your friends and family look we've got a new opportunity here you can't do this you can't do that you can't do this but by the way it's just who you are yeah okay now they become customers of on passive so automatically you've even though it's a it's likely to be a free system you're going to have people come on board and you could have thousands come on board within a relatively short period of time now on passive is going to send them information about what else they do what else they offer and what other opportunities would fit with these thousand that have come on to use own it so all of a sudden you've got a thousand customers I, I, you know this is simple and and yet so effective um and the system and the way the system has been been put together is absolute genius yes That's so those are those are my two yes you're, you're right uh, uh, every product is uh, a, a, a company so but uh, i have uh, taken uh, interviews of many founders uh, and majority of the founders uh, gave the name o connect as a favorite product so so that's great and uh, sir my next question is we all have we all have seen the massive marketing campaign ran in dubai and burj khalifa what do you think about the impact it has left on overall standing of one passive and did you feel any kind of change in terms of people coming and asking about the company you know, uh... um okay now i've lived in dubai so i understand the system um and to have been able to not only purchase two floors in the burj khalifa but to advertise up there and around you you're going to have to know somebody up high let's just say that um the impact that that has um, it has several connotations. First of all, um, to be able to do that in the first place, what's happened is the 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 upper echelons of Dubai have been open to having a look at what On Passive has to offer and seen the truth. Okay, because there is no way that a company like us. Um, would be able to advertise or purchase unless we were whiter than white. Okay, it just it is an impossibility. You know, the likes of, of Facebook, Google, uh, Amazon, Microsoft, etc. They don't advertise, certainly not on the Burj Khalifa. Um, so the impact just in Dubai, we saw you know th several thousand um, uh, new founders come in before the founder position closed because again those people in dubai understand that in order to be able to do that the company has to be um uh, whiter than white now the other impact that this has had is all of these holiday makers have gone over there and videoed the this um uh, on passive up the burj khalifa and taken that home with them so we've seen an influx of of founders again before the position closed from those people that have been on holiday because they're looking at this thinking hold on a second on passive what's all this about let's have a look oh that looks exciting let's have a a closer look and and a lot of these people have then you know signed up so um i, I think it's just the start um it's a phenomenal difference to to um uh, simply advertising in somewhere like the uk in london for instance, uh, Dubai is the place to go. The next has got to be someone like Singapore, um, but Dubai is the place to go. They're the ones that are looking to take on new technology, et cetera, and mm. expand the system from there. So yeah, um, what a difference that's made. Yes, yes, excellent, sir. Uh, we all know uh, Dubai is a big business hub. So uh, Dubai, Dubai was a good choice to start our brand. Uh, to introduce the, our brand. So, uh, sir, uh, my next question is, there are many events are coming in next month, in next coming months. And uh, you are present in UK and Ireland even recently. And uh, I want to know that how was the event that took place in UK and Ireland? 
and you have met with the different leaders, especially Mr. Redfern and Mr. q &A, and uh, of course other leaders and founders as well. How was your that day experience? How things have changed since that event? Um, it, fantastic is the first word that springs to mind. Um, there's so many guys in the UK that we we uh, we speak to and see on Zoom, and everybody has an impression of what they look like based on what you see on screen. So meeting with 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 Red and with Peter, with Comfort, Collins, um, uh, Jocelyn, um, Georgina, Vincent, and so on. They're, they're, it, it, it was brilliant. It was wonderful to meet them. And it hugs all round. It, it's like, oh, here's an old friend. Because we've been talking for so long um, uh, and, you know, uh, seeing Comfort and Fumi, for instance, was, was brilliant. Uh, Georgina, another one, Alicia, uh, th there were hundreds of people there and it was really, really good fun. Um, I, I have to say, I, I didn't realise Red was quite as tall as he is. Um, he's, he's taller than I am, which um, which surprised me because I didn't expect that based on what I could see on the, on the webinars. But uh, fantastic. We all had a, a brilliant time. Uh, it was well put together. Uh, Peter Rogers did a fantastic job organising the event for us, uh, and all of the speakers that we had, um, <clears throat> you know, did their part. Bobby and and um, uh, and Paddy, etc. Brilliant. It was very well choreographed. The the girls did wonders for me and uh, and comfort as the uh, as the MCs for the day, um, and I think it, it's it was like being part of a big family because everybody has the same mindset and everybody we met um uh, you know a smiling face uh, that was for me it was wonderful um and to have someone come up and say can i have your photo can i take my picture with you was kind of surreal <laughs> to be fair but um yeah no i i loved it and and we want to now do more of these so we've put together a um a core team if you like uh, where uh, people are going to start to do smaller presentations in the pub or in the house or what have you. And, and a lot of the leaders are going to try and get to help them out. So the object of the exercise is for us to put together um, short presentations and for those people within the, 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 the group, if you like, that can't make the presentation, there is a video that they could play uh, in order to do that. Now, that's going to be just for the UK and Ireland. Um, and as soon as we have further details from Ash as to what's going on, then we can really start to, to pump this. But we, we're going to have another event, hoping um, uh, that event will be in December. And we really, really uh, would love to see, you know, three, four, five, even eight thousand people there. That would be phenomenal. Um, and I can't wait. I really enjoyed it. Great, sir. Great, sir. Sir, I would like to appreciate the event that was held in UK, as you told about details. And I loved that event. I feel that it was a very good effort from your side. I would also like to appreciate the leaders over there in that event physically. Most important thing, the leaders who encouraged and motivated the founders there. It was very, it, it was very good because the founders who were attending the uh, event there, they got inspiration and motivation directly from your side. That was amazing, sir. Uh, sir, uh, next question is, uh, uh, what is data center exactly? Uh, what is the what is the uh, what is the uh, importance of, of importance of uh, our own data center? If we have, can you? Um, I I think yeah. I, I um Ash, there there are. A limited number of companies that offer data centers um, uh, and we all know the big names so this is almost like a monopoly um, and 80 percent of amazon's revenue comes from the data centers not from selling books or whatever it is online it's from the data center and, and the thing is you know speaking to some of the uh, the uh, the tech pros they understand that um amazon just keep putting the prices up 
and they can they can sit there and rub their hands together and go thank you very much but if you want to stay with us you're going to have to increase the price um now it all revolves around money again everything is about money and and as if jeff bezos isn't rich enough already <clears throat> um the difference here is most of that technology that they use with the data centers that they the the big companies have at the moment is outdated so not only is on passives um uh, um what's the word i'm looking at? hardware um a, you know the next level we're using laser technology um there's going to be no no downtime it's just security is uh, above everything else but if you look at individual data centers that some of the other companies have they have you know a thousand people to run the data center well ash has made it very clear we need two or three so not only are we going to be able to cut the cost um in comparison to the likes of the the other big three um but it means that thousands and thousands and thousands and millions of companies are going to come to us we'll cut the cost we've got the latest technology there's no downtime there's no security issues because everything is dealt with so and the revenue from that 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 will generate in comparison <clears throat> to to what's being paid at the moment it will be amazing now if you think about it <clears throat> and one of the tech pros said that they're the cost per annum for their company to host um on on amazon web services is 30 odd million now the likelihood is that with our data center we'd be able to cut that by two thirds and still make a profit We're, and that profit is going to be passed down or part of that profit is going to be passed back so <clears throat> i see over time that our data center is going to provide far more apples um, um eventually than than customers will um so you know we're on to the next data center he's already started the, with with the details on that and that is going to be again massive so yeah very excited by it i don't fully understand the technicals behind it but i understand the the sales process let's put it that way yes exactly exactly great sir sir last question is uh, uh, as we all know foundership has been closed forever uh what the uh, what the next you see um well obviously ultimately we we have to um close the position for the pending um founders that that are registered but never paid um i, I think it's really sad it is it's the old adage though you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink um you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink so the problem is or the potential problem is that that all of these people have an opportunity um handed to them on a plate and they're still not even taking the time to look at it and i think that's the saddest part but once that's done we're finished the next step really is um know your customer and and i know you know the the uh, merchants are being dealt with at the moment you're never going to find one merchant that will cover the whole globe so you're going to have have to have six or seven and they will all have the same um uh the same terms and conditions etc um so once that's done and we have um you know know your customer which will take time to do when you've got 1.5 or 1.4 odd million founders it's going to take time to make sure that everybody gets their their um, details in simple process for some it's going to to be a little bit more difficult but there are there are, will be ways and means and believe me when there's money in the wallet people will do it very very quickly so but once that's that's dealt with we should see this this law as ash has said we're hoping that the um uh, the first nine products will be done are done um we'll, but will be launched to to the uh, the public before the end of august and then a further three in september so so this for me is the 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 crunch point the excitement is building and and um i i, I just like everybody else let's get going let's get going um but everything has a reason everything has a purpose and and the way he's doing it 
is the right way. So I, I have no problems with waiting. I'm a, normally a very impatient person, but I understand exactly what's happening. So I have no problem with waiting. And if it takes another four months, so be it. I'm not saying it will. But if, if that ever came to it, then I don't have a problem with it. Um, what he's done over such a short period of time with his tech team is, is uh, beyond belief. Great, sir. Excellent, sir. Sir, in last, uh, uh, any message for Pakistani founders? Get engaged. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody has to check into their back office on a regular basis. Any information yes. that you're going to need will be in that back office. Um, just make sure you can plug in uh, uh, and, and see as much information as you possibly can. Take it on board. This is your business, your opportunity. You can make the most of this if you decide to. If you don't, not a problem. Um, I gave an example, or always tend to give an example, with the power of numbers. Um, uh, and I'm going to give you an example today. I'm going to say that the company will take a short period of time to get your first three customers. And then after that, it's going to take three months to get three further customers for them and three more for each of the customers you already got. So it'll go you plus three is four times three is 12 plus your four is 16, 16 times three, 48 plus your 16, 64, 64 times 392 plus your 64, 256 customers. And that's if you did nothing. Now, again, this is purely an example. This is not what's going to happen. This is an example of the power of numbers. If you had shared this opportunity, and when we once we've got the reseller opportunity back in play, you share this with nine others. So you've now got 10 in your group, in your customer base, whatever you want to call us. It's, we know it's not multi-level marketing. This is a customer base, commission-based business. So if you had 10 in your team in total and using the same example, at the end of that first year, you'd have 2,560 customers in your group, not 256. Now that means your income has increased tenfold yeah, just simply by sharing it with nine others. Now, I don't know about you, but I have an income goal that I would like to achieve um, and I want to get there sooner rather than later. But it's entirely up to you people. If you want to get there sooner, you have to get engaged. You have to understand what's going on. And once you do and the light bulb comes on, you go, right, now I'm away. Great, sir. Superb. Hope sir. that helps. Superb, sir. Uh, sir, uh, thank you very much. You gave me your precious time and you accepted my Welcome, no problem. Uh, request for interview. We will see you in next any webinar on Zoom. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thanks very much.